Hi and welcome to this sneak preview of Arc Linux B XFCE. We're going to boot it and show you what it looks like. In the meantime, I'll show you that we have a new website. Well, we have a rearranged and rewritten all the articles on Arc Linux D, Arc Linux .info and Arc Linux .com to host our three main projects. Arc Linux, Arc Linux D, which are these guys, and Arc Linux B, and the B stands for build. You can build Arc Linux yourself. So if you have issues, if you don't want Firefox, if you do want Steam, if you don't want OBS Studio or you do want it, add it to the line, add it to the packages of both and launch your script number 30. You'll get an ISO and you have your own proper personalized Arc Linux B. All right, so um, launching is already done, of course. And this is Control alt This is Arc Linux B and just XFC. So the idea is to choose your desktop and say, okay, this is it. I don't want Openbox, I don't want i3. I just want Arc Linux B then because you built it yourself or we built it yourself. Let me tell that as well. You don't need to know lots about technicality, about building and all that. Here it is, XFCE, download it. It's an ISO like any other ISO. You put it on a USB, boot from it, and you have it. So no need to go into scripting or anything like that. So this is XFC. I suppose you've seen a lot of videos already. So I'll just go quickly over some of the elements and see what I can explain, what comes across. For instance, we see here this blue thing. This blue thing can be fixed, shall be fixed, will be fixed. If you press here fix hard-coded icon so that's a new way to actually do the same thing as this pseudo hard code fixer so it's running this in the back end and we get a nice message everything is fixed he says and if there is no text then everything was already fixed so I guess I don't know where it was HP somewhere here it is HP device manager is now also in the correct color. So we have ditched LibreOffice. So there are lots of elements out there, of, of uh, packages out there that you say, okay, this is actually much better or not uh, in the correct language or not. It's all up to you to see what you want. Do write, do read this this text. This is the most important text on the website, maybe. And then we go to see what I was talking about. LibreOffice is explained in the latest explanations here. We removed LibreOffice and we want to point you to lots of other Office packages. So if you are a user of an Office suite, then maybe you can venture in OpenOffice or Caligra or WPS Office, also a very nice one. So lots of choices and choosing is losing. I, here's choosing is always losing I said okay but I will leave it up to you to decide what to install and since we give you now the power of build your own ISO well you just put it in as a line in packages those both burn the ISO make build the ISO then burn the ISO on USB boot from it and you got it so that's uh, is great right you have the freedom to add to Arc Linux ISO anything you'd like. So this is a very important button and we can make it a little bit bigger. So a lot of icons have been added. Some of are more important than others. You know how it goes. System profile, benchmark, nice system to tell you something about your system. But the same thing can be done like this, more geeky like in the terminal. But it gives basically the same information if you're looking for the, the name of your graphical card, for instance, then it will be in here as well. All right, so um, there is a Conky Zen that's always nice, amazes people. We're gonna add more Conkeys to the system. But you have, if you have followed us, you've seen that we we're, were, were very busy indeed. There are no letters yet, so the Conkeys. Um, they rely on fonts and fonts have copyright and it's specifically 
add it to the, the text that you cannot distribute it. And if we have 11,000 downloads in two months, we're definitely distributing. So how do we solve these fonts issues? In arclinux.com, seven step installation guide. If you go down here, we explain to you that we actually, we are going to install a GitHub. And the GitHub here has hidden away settings fonts. So all the fonts you need are in here and you can download them uh, from there and then install it with a script. It's as easy as that. It's all explained on the video here. And then we have a beautiful conky. So that's why we see this A and this M, which is because it's actually a beautiful icon there. So we have also new elements to the right mouse click ownership, get ownership to user or to root. Open folders root was there already. Create a symlink, very interesting if you have an external hard drive, lots of music or videos or pictures, photos, then you can <coughs> get a link and these, many of these programs follow the link and will include it. So there you go. This is a short overview of uh, the new um, Article Linux B XFC. Last screenshot. This is the one. This is what we're talking about. All right. Cheers.